All right, this is a Walmart lock. I think it came in a pack of two. 40 millimeter, made in China. Plastic bump around it to protect whatever you're locking up from getting scratched. And I'm gonna pick it. Let's see. First thing I'm gonna do is uh, use a padlock comb. Now normally, you kinda go in, push the pins down and turn it like a key. At least that's what's worked for me. Sometimes you just push it down on the pins and the thing pops right open. But this one, putting in straight, putting it in too far, and wiggling. And then if you notice, it gets stuck kind of at an angle, upward angle. And then you sort of pull it back forward, straight, and that just opened the lock. Try that again. Push it past the pins. You're, it's almost acting like a bypass because you're going in there and then straightening and it pops open. It feels very similar to one of these Sparrow, like an American padlock bypass tool. Same type of feel. Works real nice. Um... These are skeleton keys. Very similar to the auto jigglers and wigglers. I'll try that one. If you look, I have some of them are split. There's all different shapes. I like number three. Number two works a lot. This one, you're hitting a lot of the pins and also maybe bypassing a little, but push it in and turn. So it's not acting like a true bypass, you're actually picking it. This lock, it's actually too, too tight to get a shim in there, which is one good thing. That way someone's not cutting a little shim like this out of a Red Bull can or something and then defeating a cheap lock. Let's see. Let's see the pins, that first little pin, always annoying in most of these locks. Locked. Little bit of pressure. First pin doesn't really stick. Boom. S kind of skip the first one, go towards the back, and then if you, once you're in, you bring it down a little and you'll hit the first pin enough to get it open. So, I mean, four minutes and I've opened this lock how many times? The ones with the key. There's the key. Um, is it this one? Yeah. These comb picks have different lengths. Some of them are longer. Depends on the lock. I go with whatever slides in and out easily without catching. Open.
five minutes, five or six different times. I'm going to do it from this angle. It's just in there, kind of in there normally. And we're going to work it so it goes in deeper. If you look, the whole shoulder there is tipped in. And it's going up and then down, and it opens. So many ways to open this lock. I don't have any bump keys that will work on this. Bump keys are usually for doors, not really padlocks. Um, padlock shims, mine are too big, even with this open. I'll try to open it with the key again. Uh, instead of balls, it has cylinders. Kind of interesting, but there is a gap there. So if I went and cut up a can, I think I could get a pop can or maybe even a uh, small probe on each side on the insides and probably would be able to get that open I held it one way or another but even with this open these shims that I happen to have right now uh, they barely they don't really fit in that hole as good not enough to not enough to do it even with this open so I need thinner shims Uh, yeah, we'll try with a, a comb that's way too long. That might be too hard. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah that got it. But see, when the comb's way too long or the, the teeth are too, too long that way, then it just, it makes it harder to get out, so... What's nice about these combs is you get a lot of them for very cheap price. I think this set was it was three dollars and fifty cents. If you wanted to get it on eBay or Amazon and wait six months for it to come to, from China, pay five bucks, ship from the U.S. because I live in the U.S. Um, so it was like another five or six dollar set. There was a bunch of these. I'm only seeing three at the moment. Cheap pick, but let me tell you. This tension wrench, which is twisted, it came twisted, but it's also bent a little by me. And just this cheap pick from a pick set, I would say 95% of the things I open are this. So yeah, I have a bunch of picks, but, and they're fun to play with and try. You never know. But this, you know, this is going to open up pretty much everything I've ever tried to open as, as far as regular type of locks. The American Padlock Company, those are impossible for me to get unless I have my bypass tool. And then the rest of this stuff is just other ways of doing it. Just options. That's it.